A circadian rhythm consists of any physical, mental, or behavioral changes that follow roughly a 24-hour cycle. This process affects sleep cycles, hormones, and body temperature. The disruption of a person's circadian rhythm can lead to sleep disorders, obesity, diabetes, depression, or bipolar disorder. A major hormone involved in circadian rhythms is melatonin. This is secreted in different amounts during the night and day. Melatonin secretions peak during the nighttime, which makes you feel drowsy. While it does not necessarily induce sleep, it can promote sleep and allow a good night's rest. The main cue for circadian rhythm is light, which turns on and off internal clocks. In humans, we synchronize by light, which is first perceived by the retina. The light travels down the optic nerve into the hypothalamus. This message is transmitted from the hypothalamus down the spinal cord to clusters of sympathetic nerve cell bodies and then climb back up to the pineal gland. When this message reaches the pineal gland, melatonin production is turned off. The hypothalamus contains the suprachiasmic nucleus, also called the SCN. This structure acts as a biological clock for humans. The suprachiasmic nucleus is composed of several thousand neurons that fire with the circadian rhythm. Experiments with isolated SCN neurons reveal that these clocks are actually cellular clocks. Each SCN cell acts individually and synchronizes with the activity of neighboring SCN cells. Here, the molecular interactions involved in the negative feedback loop are responsible for circadian rhythms in mammals are shown. Mammalian SCN neurons contain three types of period genes, PER1, PER2, and PER3, and two types of cryptochrome genes, CRI1 and CRI2. PER and CRI genes in the nucleus are activated by the binding of proteins BMOL1 and CLOC, which are positive activators to their promoters. Transcriptional activation results in the production of mRNA, which exits the nucleus through nuclear pores and is translated into protein by the ribosomes. Per protein represented as pink, is susceptible to degradation unless it forms a dimer, represented as red. A dimer is a pair of molecules. Per per and per cry dimers translocate into the nucleus. The dimers interact with BMOL1 or CLOT to block activation. A negative feedback loop is created. Per and cry proteins, which are negative regulators, block transcription by their own genes. Over time, the dimers degrade and are replaced by other dimers. Eventually, too few dimers are available to block activation because no more proteins are being made. Inhibition is relieved and transcriptional activation begins again. In mammals, casein kinase 1 epsilon is a kinase enzyme that is a critical regulator of circadian oscillations. Casein kinase 1 epsilon plays three roles within a cell. First, this enzyme phosphorylates susceptible per proteins seen as pink in the cytoplasm, which makes them less stable and leads to their degradation. Second, casein kinase 1 epsilon is also involved in their cellular retention or translocation of dimers from the cytoplasm to the nucleus. The third role this enzyme plays is in the degradation of the inhibitory complex in the nucleus formed by PER and CRI dimers. Once the inhibitory molecules degrade, transcription can begin again. Here, a wild type hamster and a mutant hamster are compared. This shows how a mutation in casein kinase 1 epsilon results in a change in the timing of production of proteins that influence circadian behaviors. Since the mutant enzyme is less effective at phosphorylating PER, it's suggested that PER dimers accumulate faster in the cytoplasm. This leads to their translocation in the nucleus, which leads to an earlier shutoff. This means that the negative feedback loop occurs faster in the mutant than in the wild-type hamster. Specifically, hamsters homozygous for the tau mutation, where they have two copies of the mutated gene, have a shortened circadian period. Instead of following a 24-hour clock, these hamsters operate on a 20-hour clock. A small change to the casein kinase 1 epsilon protein causes casein kinase 1 epsilon to become much less effective in phosphorylating per proteins. Similar to hamsters, a mutation in humans also leads to a shortened circadian period. While disruptions such as shift work and rapid time zone changes can disrupt circadian rhythms, genetic mutations also affect this cycle. The human period 2 gene are HPER2 in individuals with familial advanced sleep phase syndrome contains a single base pair mutation. This mutation alters the site in the HPER2 protein where casein kinase 1 epsilon acts. Normally, this enzyme would add a phosphate group to the HPER2 protein. These phosphate groups target the protein for degradation. However, because of the altered site, the mutant HPER2 protein is less susceptible to degradation. This causes it to accumulate more rapidly in the cytoplasm. 
Once they have entered the nucleus, HPER2 proteins turn off HPER2 gene transcription. This process leads to a shortened sleep cycle, which can be seen on the right. 